Welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create a dashboard view. So to create a dashboard view, first let's go to dashboard view module. So click dashboard view module. So this will bring us to a dashboard view module where you can see like analysis view. We also have a private and public uh, folder. The same like uh, analysis view if you have um, any dashboard view under private so that it's going to be only accessible to you but um, we want to create a dashboard view that can be seen by any project member so we will create a dashboard view under public so before i create one let me show you um, uh, some we already have here so one we have which is named uh, Mercury tools release 10.5 status. So this one has a few information. Um, so if you click a view tab, you can see uh, generating all the information. Now uh, to get a better view, you can have a full screen view. So if you click this button, uh, you can see the face view in full screen. So if you click this, so it will give you a full screen view of that. Um, dashboard page so you can see uh, it has a scorecard release um, information and um, and also has some uh, defect and test execution uh, information so we're going to create one that will mainly based on uh, different information related to defects so let's create one so let's close this so you want to create one under public so select public folder then click this new page button so it will ask for a dashboard page name so let's say um, um say t effect the tracking so we can have all defect tracking graphs in one page so click ok so now I have a uh, defect tracking uh, dashboard page. Now what we want to do, now we want to add um, different graphs on this page so we can see all the graphs in the, from this one page. So to add uh, graphs to this page, go to uh, configuration. Now we want to add uh, some of those graphs we created in the previous tutorial but see there is a problem you will face uh, because it is under private so if you want to add this so after you select this graph if you click this add graph to dashboard page if you click this you say it will say like you can include a private graph in a public page so what we want to do click ok so you want to move these graphs to public this defects folder so we can add these graphs as well to our um, this dashboard view so to do this let's go to analysis view and then drag these graphs to defects folder under public so click ok so it's saying you have to show if you want to move it yes so we want to move this one as well click ok move this one as well click ok so move, we moved all our three graphs uh, into that uh, defects public folder. Now let's go back to dashboard view. So we want to add, uh, now if you refresh this, you can see this um, view is updated. Now we want to add our graphs to this defect uh, tracking page. So let's first add our graph. Now we want to add one more graph from um, from here from other uh, public graph. Let add this. One. So we will have this four graph. So let's go to view now. Now we can see uh, we have all these four graphs, but we want to do it more little bit more organized. We want to move the graphs below here to, or over here so to do this let's go back to configuration now let's do like drag this one here and you can drag this one down there now 
go back in the view now we, you can see we have a nice view of um, tracking all defects so but it's very difficult to see like this so if you have a problem with seeing information you can go to um, this uh, full screen view so click this so now you, you have a better view uh, you can see based on different subjects uh, how many defects are there how many are open how many are closed so this graph shows you uh, how many defects are uh, open um, based on the different subject area and these graphs shows you how many defects are there uh, based on uh, different severity level and then uh, this graph also shows you um, the unresolved defects per cycle so this way uh, this space can show you uh, all different kinds of information uh, uh, if you like you can see one of this graph uh, also in uh, full screen um, like if you click this uh, full screen button it will show the only this graph in full screen and um, then if you want you can see probably so this one in from the skin as you want so now let's close this uh, page so uh, in this tutorial you learned uh, how to create a, a dashboard view page thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial